Hi, this is a quick three minute video on this. Hi, in this video we're going to be looking at one of the popular questions for the higher tier which is going to appear on at Excel, AQA, OCR and Educast type papers. Uh, this particular one will, deals with a frustrum. Please do stop the video, have a go at this particular question, compare your solution. So the first thing is, is that we've got two cones. Effectively we've got a small cone which has got a height of six centimeters and then we've got a much larger cone which has got a height of 18 centimeters what we've done is taken one away from the other but importantly if we're going to be using the volume of the cone formula which is right at the top of the screen there then we need to make sure that we've got all of the dimensions we know that the base of the large cone is going to be 12 and also we know that the scale factor between 6 and 12 um, is 6 and 18 is going to be a multiplication of 3 so therefore we can work out the base of the smaller cone as 12 divided by 3 and that's going to be 4 so therefore the base of the small cone is going to be 4. And then really it's just a case of using the information we've got and applying it into the formula. So I'm going to move down on the screen but please do take a screenshot, have a go at this question for yourself. Okay, so let's have a look at firstly the volume of the large cone. Okay, now I would always work out from the formula itself which is handily given on the sheet as 1 third pi r squared h. Okay, so we've got one third multiplied by pi. Now the radius of the large cone, if we go back up, is going to be half of the diameter. So it's going to be half of 12, which is going to be 6. But don't forget that it is 6 squared. And then it's multiplied by height of 18. Okay, I'm going to put dots amongst that and it just means multiply. Okay, so when I work all of that out, I get 216 pi. Now you can, if you want, write it out as a full decimal, but it just takes an awful lot of time to do that. I suggest you don't because I think it's much easier to work with pi until we really need to make the calculation. So therefore, let's look at the volume of the small cone and we're going to again use exactly the same formula, which is one third pi r squared h. Okay, and the information I'm going to put in is one third multiplied by pi. Now if you remember we worked out the uh, diameter is 4 so we're going to be 2 squared as the radius and the height is going to be 6. Okay, and when I work all of that out what I'm going to get is 8 pi. Okay, so to work out the volume of the frustrum all I would do then is take one away from the other. So the volume of the frustrum is going to be 216 pi minus 8 pi and that's going to give us 208 pi. Okay, now at this point you can put it in your calculator and you can work this out as 653.45 centimeters cubed and it says in the question correct to three significant figures so therefore I would write that as 653 centimeters cubed and that would be the answer to this particular question. Okay so I hope the video was useful please do add a comment below if you're not sure about anything I'll always come back to you subscribe to the channel I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.